What's up legends? So I've heard that you can actually get some of the newest Pokemon card products for cheap at Aldi. We're gonna go see if we can find it here. Let's go. Legends. I cannot believe we found an entire display of the Crown Zenith Mini Tins for only $7.99 at Aldi. I'm pretty sure they're doing it kind of as like a, an Easter basket sort of special thing, but I've had some really good luck with the Mini Tins, so I went ahead and picked up all but two of them. I left two for someone else to pick up, but we got eight here and we're going to open them up back at home. Let's go. Now, if it's your first time here, my name is Luke, and after 20 years, I got back into collecting Pokemon cards to chase that feeling of nostalgia from my childhood. So I hope you'll come along the collecting journey with me by hitting that subscribe button below. Well guys, make sure you go check out your local Aldi to get these awesome Crown Zenith Mini Tins for only $7.99 of a whole dollar cheaper than they usually go for. And if you get a whole bunch like we did, you can definitely save quite a bit. And I happen to love these products because we've pulled some pretty cool stuff from them and they are usually a pretty good value uh, in and of themselves. So guys, let's open these up and see if we can pull some cool stuff from Crown Zenith. All right, well, like I said, we do have eight of these tins, so we'll be opening up 16 Crown Zenith packs in total. And I'm definitely still having a lot of fun with this set. Of course, I know this week a lot of people are super hyped about the new Scarlet and Violet sets, you know. The attention moves very quickly in this hobby. And don't get me wrong, I am somewhat excited about those sets. But, you know, as you guys know, I've been just taking things slow with opening this product because, again, it's it's going to be around for a while. And so, yeah, I'm still enjoying it even months later. And still a lot of cards that I would still like to pull. So let's go and, and see what we can get today. Let's uh, give you that code card first to start. All right, and let's get into our first pack. Psychic, Gloom, Tangela, Ponyard, Snorunt, Pancham, Shinx, Rare Candy, and just a Hollow Kyogre. Nothing crazy in our first pack. That's all right, we got a lot of chances today. Let me know in the comments below if you're still enjoying this set or if you're already bored of it. I know it's been around for some time, so people like to really go hard with new sets and then, you know, they get bored and it's on the new set. So I get it, but I just try and take a more, uh, just a different approach. I try to pace myself a little bit more. So here we are, Crocorock and Volcarona, dang, wow. Nothing at all in our first 10. So that's very interesting. Our Already our luck is way worse than our first Maytons that we opened. But you know, that's just how it goes. You win some, you lose some. I will say I probably won't be opening a ton more of this set personally though. Eventually I will be buying the singles, you know, once the single prices go down significantly, which honestly I think they have a long way to go down because we'll probably be seeing, you know, probably even reprints of this um, into the next year if I would have to guess. Um, but yeah, we'll definitely hold out and open some of the other products to come. We got a Regigigas V. The main one that I'm still waiting for is the uh, the shiny Zacian V box that's going to be coming out eventually. I think it's not till May that we'll see that one. I can't remember if there's another Crown Zenith product we're going to see in April. Let me know in the comments below if you know one way or the other. All right, so yeah, we got a V card. Nothing crazy so far, though. Hopefully we can get something from the Galarian Gallery here. I really would love to pull the Mew. That's probably one I'm really excited about. Oh, all right, let us go. <laughs> all right, we got the Entei V to match our Suicune V, which we actually pulled from these Mini Tins also. <laughs> that is great. 
you know it's uh it's kind of a f funny artwork i do actually really like this artist i'm pretty sure it's the same uh if i'm not mistaken correct me if i'm wrong i think it's the same one who did the blaziken alt art and i really like this style I, uh, my main complaint is I just feel like they drew Entei's legs kind of small compared to his body. Kind of reminds me of those uh, guys who work out and they got huge chests, huge arms, and just tiny little legs. But let's see, do we have any double hit today? All right, we actually do. Hatterene VMAX. I didn't even know that that was in this set. All right, but I'm super excited about that Entei V. Definitely am wanting to collect all of the legendary beasts or doggos whatever you want to call them i guess we'll sleeve this one up as well we were fortunate enough to pull one of the gold cards although it's not one that i really care about honestly i don't even really care about the giratina even though it's i think the most expensive one in this set the one i really want is the arceus because i really like that pokemon so that would be cool to pull him today what else am i looking for from this set i'm sure there's some more Galarian Gallery cards I'm not thinking of. Um, oh yeah, we haven't pulled the Evolutions, the Glaceon or Leafeon. Those are definitely on my list. And of course the Mewtwo V-Star. How could I forget about that one? That one card is really cool. All right, let's see what we have in this tin here. Corefish, Shinx, Whalmer. Just the reverse. Uh, Grass energy. By the way, you know, I've had some people comment um, in my previous shorts that I had pulled something like this, but these ones, I don't think the reverse hauls are really worth much. What you're really looking for is the textured ones, which comes, I believe, in the last spot, maybe, or maybe it is in this spot. But anyway, these ones are not really worth that much, but the texture ones are. So we haven't pulled that one here. All right, there we go. Let's pull some fire here. Rare Candy, Carnivine, Wooloo, Helioptile, Skrelp, Grubbin, Purloin, nothing in the Galarian Gallery, and Enamorous. All right, well, since we still have several more tins open up here, let's go ahead and snap them out of their tin, just like magic. And we will be getting into these in just a moment. But before we do, let's go ahead and open up some mail from Whatnot. Whatnot, as many of you know, is the app featuring live streamed auctions where you can bid on Pokemon cards and other collectibles and often get some really great deals. Make sure you use my link in the description below and you can actually get a $15 credit toward your purchase on there. And uh, you know, one thing I did want to address real quick because I have been seeing some kind of uh, interesting things online about some sellers on whatnot. And this was uh, the video that I'm referring to was actually in the sports uh, card arena. But um, anyway, guys, just know that on any of these platforms, especially when you're dealing with Pokemon cards and collectibles that have some value, you're going to have some bad actors out there, some scammers. Personally, I never, or not never, but very rarely do the rip and ships on whatnot because I personally don't get much value out of them. I'd rather open them myself, but I do buy a lot of singles on whatnot, as you've probably seen in my videos. So I find that I, you get some good deals on singles if you wait for the right deal to come along. But I just want to give you guys a disclaimer. Be careful out there. Make sure you only spend what you're comfortable spending and, uh, you know, Definitely, you know, keep a lookout for uh, for guys who uh, just want to take advantage of you, and they're not actually wanting to give you the hits that you deserve and everything. So, anyway, just wanted to mention that real quick. But we got some cool cards in here. We got Dark Vile Bloom ooh, with a little half swirl behind the little head there. This is a really cool one. I love the Galaxy Hollow pattern on the Team Rocket cards. This one's looking, yeah, I would say pretty minty overall. Yeah. And it looks like we got some other Team Rocket cards, which is awesome. Definitely needed some of these for my master set. We got the Dark Doug Trio. Definitely some some scratching, or or maybe that's actually part of the, the art. I can't really tell on the right-hand side there. Well, I love the... 
yeah, I just love the uh, the hollow on it. It just looks so good. Oh, this also has like a little half swirl down there. The dark hot dogs, as they're known. Let's check the back here. Yeah, looking minty for this one too. Next, we have ooh, Dark Alakazam. Nice. I really forgot that I had bought these cards, to be completely honest with you. And actually, I looked on the date, and uh, I, had, I had ordered these all the way back in, I think, the end of December. So, yeah, guys, sometimes it takes me a while to get through my whatnot backlog because I just order from there so much. So, anyway, let's check the back of this one as well. A little bit of whiting. I would say just very... Yeah, very light play to near mint on this one. Oh, that's awesome. I really love this Dark Alakazam card. Don't think... Oh, maybe I do. Let me... Sorry, let me look a little closer here to see if there's a swirl. If it is, it's kind of like in the dark spot, but... Yeah, maybe not. But anyway, still super cool. We got Dark Slowbro picking up a lot of the hollows from this set, which is really cool. Oh yeah, this one is sweet because it's got the little Team Rocket grunt in the background there. And Slowbro is just looking mean. Oh, that's really cool. Let's see the condition on this one. This one has a little more whitening. I would probably be more confident calling this one Light Play, which is fine with me. All my cards in my master set are Light Play or better. And last but not least, another really cool one, a really underrated card in my opinion from this set. We have Polyrath. Not as clear on the hollow, but it does have a nice swirl down there. But I really like the artwork on this one. Let's see how the back looks. Uh, this one's looking a little rougher, unfortunately. Man, which is unfortunate because it has that nice swirl. Uh, this one's right on the line of being maybe moderately played you'll have to let me know what you think in the comments below there's definitely some whitening there yeah there's even like a little lip right oh and a little crease there yeah i would definitely call this moderately played so unfortunately this one will probably not stay in my collection but that's all right it'll make a good card to trade in the future well, thanks guys for checking those out with me. I always like to provide a variety because I still love vintage cards, even though I open up a lot of modern cards, a lot of modern sets. I am still trying to complete those Watsy Master sets. But let's keep things rolling with our Crown Zenith opening. Okay, there you have a code card. And we got the backwards V star. Interesting that that happens sometimes. Execute, Cherubi, Young Goose, Amolga, Scyther. Ooh, very cool. We got Radiant Eternatus. We pulled this guy actually three or four times now. We got anything better than that? We got Scizor. I do love that artwork. Definitely a cool Pokemon. Yeah, come to think of it, I still have not pulled the Radiant Charizard from this set either. Yeah, there's definitely still a lot of cards that I'm chasing from this set, which again makes it fun because I feel like we've consistently pulled some good stuff every time that we've opened this set, but there's still some other good ones that we can look forward to. I don't know guys, some of you may have seen my ranking video of all the Sword and Shield sets. It's very possible that I didn't rank this, this set high enough. But in my defense, you know, it was very early to tell. It had literally just come out, so. But it's definitely a lot of fun. Definitely like it better than Shining Fates, I will say that, even though it's a that's a good set, but I feel like this set is better. Snorlax. There we go, the Fighting Energy. Nice Graveler artwork. Great Ball, drop that. Ponyard. Chitat, the Disc of Love, Purloin, the Disc of Love Reverse, and Snorlax yet again. Yeah, I will say our previous mini tins that we opened, we were definitely on fire with those because we pulled something I think in almost every almost every pack. 
So we definitely have not had as good luck this time around. So hopefully that gives you a little bit more of a balanced view on it. But we've still pulled a great card already, the Entei. I'm really happy about that. And we still have more fire to pull here. Let's go. Okay, very interesting. Cricketune. I really wish I liked this Pokemon because it has some really nice artwork, I will say. Who all do we have in here? Is that Golbat right there? Bunnelby. Um, Wooloo, I think. Yeah, I don't even know half these Pokemon, so. Anyway, Helio. Heliolisk. Another. Soul Rock, Lunatone, Rockruff, Snorunt, Pancham, Shanks, Wooloo, Paris. We've pulled him before, but I do like this card. Definitely a pretty cool one. Still need the Pikachu. That's the one I really want from that little uh, puzzle piece thing. Everyone's favorite Gen 1 Pokemon, of course. Of course, I'm kidding. Probably, possibly everyone's least favorite. I don't know. Might have to do a poll to see what is everybody's least favorite. I'm sure it would be between like Goldeen and Paris and what is a, a Parasect, of course. All right, here we go. If I can grab a hold of it. Hey, Aaron and Leopard. All right, we have been just blazing right through this. We've got four more packs left, four more chances at some of our chase cards. Let's go ahead and pull that Mewtwo V Star. That would really be awesome. Friends in Hisui, Shaman, Rockruff, Seal, Ponyard, Corfish, Shanks. Oh, the same same one again. Kel no, no, it's different. Sorry, the art lo looks kind of similar to me, but Keldeo. Again, another really pretty artwork, but just a Pokemon that I'm not too fond of. And a Hollow Hoopa. Not too bad. We've got a nice little stack going here. The Metal Gear Solid Graveler. Great Ball, Gloom, Pancham, Shinx, Wooloo, Heliotile, Skrelp. Come on, gotta get a hold of it. Zashian. That's actually a really nice artwork there, just for the reverse. I wonder if they have a hollow of that one, because I would love to get that. Otherwise, I'll probably stick this one in my binder. And a Berserker. Second to last pack. I mean, I'm already happy to get the Entei, so anything past that is just extra. But here we go. Ball toy. Nice, Rayolu. We've pulled him a few times as well. And Zorora V. Not bad, a little double hit action. Maybe somebody will trade me the Rayolu and Paris for a Pikachu. And just like that, we're on to our last and final pack. Let us get that last and final pack magic, as they say. Boom. One, two, three, four. I declare Thumb War. Graveler, again, seeing some similar stuff here. Cricketot. Ponyard, Yanma, Emolga, Love Disc, and nothing in the Galarian Gallery. Friends in Hisui. To end off the opening, we have a Stalin V. Well, here's a quick recap of our hits today. We got about 10 in total, so about one expected per 10. It's not too bad at all. But of course, my favorite of today our Entei V from the Galarian Gallery. 
Really, really cool card. Thanks as always for your support. Check out one of these videos on screen if you like Pokemon card hunts and openings and give this video a thumbs up and subscribe below to support the channel. Lastly, I wanna let you know that no matter what you're going through, you are not alone. God is with you and he loves you and we do too. I'll catch you next time.